And welcome back. I am Dave Simon, joined now with the World Heavyweight Champion, main eventing WrestleMania on April 1st in Miami and coming to Montreal on March 16th right here at the Bell Center. None other than the man, Mr. Daniel Bryan. Uh, Daniel, uh, how are you feeling? Are you excited about uh, coming to Montreal and wrestling here? Oh, yeah. I always love con- coming to Montreal. Montreal's got a great history of wrestling there, so it's a, it's a fun city to go to. And, uh, of course, uh, a triple threat match uh, with the Big Show and Randy Orton. Uh, a big match there, but uh, an even bigger match, I guess, uh, coming up for you at WrestleMania. You know, last year you were supposed to wrestle Sheamus at WrestleMania for the United States Championship, and this year uh, we come full circle. Now uh, you are on the card, thankfully, wrestling Sheamus uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, talk a little bit about, you know, the year that's been and, and how far you've come in just one year. Well, it's crazy because last year was such a disappointment. Me and Sheamus were supposed to be wrestling for the United States Championship uh, on the WrestleMania pay-per-view. We ended up doing the opening match that didn't air on the pay-per-view. And uh, it, it was just heartbreaking, you know, because wrestling on uh, WrestleMania is like the biggest goal a wrestler can have. You know what I mean? Is That's the biggest show in any company in the world, you know. And so to be, to be pulled off of that, to be pulled off of the pay-per-view was just heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, but now to come back a year later and be the world heavyweight champion and to be wrestling the same guy who I was supposed to wrestle last year, it's it's kind of vindicating it, and it and it feels good. Hopefully, we don't get bumped off this year. <laughs> I would be shocked uh, if the world heavyweight champ got bumped off uh, this year's card. Right, right, right. That would, that would be pretty. <laughs> but you crazy. never know; crazier things have happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hope not, unless uh, you know Snooki shows up and she needs more ring time. Right. <laughs> Uh, now, your match, uh, of course, with Sheamus uh, should be a great one. I was a little bit surprised to see you have a match with Sheamus on SmackDown right before uh, the Elimination Chamber. It went to a DQ. Uh, were, were you pleased with having that match? Were you surprised that they put you in that match with Sheamus, knowing that you know you had a real good chance of wrestling him again at Mania? Well, I had no idea, actually, uh, that I'd be wrestling him again at Mania. But I, I feel like... Um me and Sheamus' styles match up well, so that uh, just seeing us wrestle that one time is not going to take. It's not going to take away from us wrestling again at, at WrestleMania, uh, because me when I wrestle Sheamus, Sheamus hits you like a brick, right? Like he just comes, he keeps coming forward, and he keeps clubbing you, and he's hard hitting, and I hit really hard, and I think it's something that's going to be exciting for the fans, and something completely different than every other match on the card. Yeah, you guys definitely wrestle uh, different styles. It looks a lot stiffer in the ring w- when you're both in there, and it it's more realistic. And that's why you know I talk about on my show every week why you, uh, Sheamus, you know, and a couple other guys are really the best in the world uh, right now, and just doing some fantastic things. Uh, well, where do you side with uh, The Rock coming back and uh, and doing his thing? How do you see WrestleMania playing out between The Rock and John Cena? John Cena, who do you see coming out victorious? And and what do you think about uh, you know how how the Rock has been. What's he what's he actually been like? And what's your thought on on the whole Rock Cena thing? Uh, I'm fascinated, and I think most people are to see what the reaction of the crowd is going to be. I think it's going to be electric. Uh, I know I want to watch that match from the stands, right? I don't want to watch it on 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 the television monitor. I want to watch it from the stands to feel that live atmosphere because I, I bet it's going to be amazing. Um, but it's interesting because I think John Cena will win. At least I hope John Cena will win. But uh, I am very appreciative of The Rock coming back because a lot of people don't realize that The Rock he doesn't have to he doesn't have to come back to WWE. You know, he's a he's a big movie star and stuff like that. But WWE is in his blood. You know what I mean? And WWE is, is something that he loves. He's passionate about, and he comes back, and it really boosts the number of people who come and watch our shows, you know? And so, uh, so I'm really thankful that cause he gets us more exposure. And if people, I guarantee you, if people order WrestleMania for rock Cena, they're going to see a lot more and be drawn back into WWE. Be, be watch me and Seamus and be like, wow, this is awesome. You know, watch CM Punk and Chris Jericho. Wow. This is awesome. And the hell in the cell match with the undertaker and triple H, I guarantee you that it's going to be a fantastic match. So, I mean, people, it's going to draw people in, but it's, going to keep people watching the product 
and I think uh, that it's a fantastic product right now. I don't think it's been uh, this good uh, in several years. I think it's looking really, really good, and uh, you, you're a big part of that, and I think that uh, you know the fact that The Rock is coming back is bringing a lot of people uh, back into pro wrestling that maybe haven't been watching it uh, over the past few years. Um, it, it's a difficult situation, though, because you, you mentioned that you want to see John Cena win, and I think that you know it would make sense for Cena to win because... You know, The Rock isn't going to be there full time, and it would just make sense to keep Cena strong and, and have him victorious there at WrestleMania. But you look back at, at how Cena has done in hostile territories. Uh, you know, the I think it was the one night stand uh, in New York uh, against Rob Van Dam. He lost that match. Uh, of course, the match recently in Chicago against CM Punk. He lost that one. And you got to imagine that the, the crowd will be rather hostile towards Cena in Miami, uh, which is The Rock's hometown. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's going to be one of the most fascinating parts. I mean, how how is the crowd going to react? I mean, and how is Cena going to react to the crowd? I mean, it should be it should be incredible, but I think, I forget how many people the uh, the arena holds, but I thought somebody told me it was like 80,000 people. And I mean, 80,000 people is such a massive quantity of people to be booing you or to be cheering you or, or, or to be doing some of both. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's, uh, I, I'm fascinated by the whole thing. I think it's going to be fantastic. Definitely uh, looking forward uh, to WrestleMania this year. Uh, I got to say, I loved uh, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. I thought it was fantastic. And uh, I was on the edge of my seat watching you and Santino there uh, at the end. Um, w- what did you think about the atmosphere that night, uh, the crowd, and uh, and how they reacted for you, how they reacted for Santino, and and where do you think Santino can go from from here? Where I think he he did uh, a lot, and you did a lot to help him elevate his role in the WWE. Uh, 